Hey there, I'm Saxon Want and welcome back to What The Facts. Today we're diving into the world of field polls and I'm going to be showing you a crucial aspect of your business operations, collecting payments efficiently using field polls. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to seamlessly collect payments from your customers, making sure you get paid for your hard work. Whether you're in the field or at the office, Field Pulse has you covered. So you can collect payments right from the web app and you can send these off to your customer and you can also do it on the mobile app. And I'm going to show you how to do both. Firstly, you wanna make sure you're navigating to your job, which you're wanting to bill your customer for. So I have this test job in front of me here and I need to create a invoice. So I can do this from the web app or the mobile. I'm going to quickly show you on the web app first and then I'm gonna show you on the mobile. It's very quick and easy for both, making sure that you have your system set up in place. So for this one, I'm going to go actions, create a invoice and I'm going to utilize our price book. So we can select price book, and let's say this is a, a drain fix. So we want to head over to drainage repairs and replacements, and perhaps it's a chemical drain service. So I can select here, use Reese items, yes or no, and I can go ahead and save this invoice. Perhaps I want to send this out to a customer. I want to finalize it. I want to preview to make sure everything is displayed how I like it. And I can select email to customer. So I can send this via email, but I can also toggle down the bottom and simultaneously send this via SMS. It's really handy to send these out via SMS. There's no excuse for customers. Everyone has their phone nowadays. They'll get a ping. They'll get a text message, rather, is what I'm referring to. They can select on the link, put in their card details, and they can pay like that. Really quick and easy. It's going to pre-populate your customer's number if you do have that saved in their customer record, and you're going to be able to send it out. So let's go ahead and send. Now, what does this look like to your customer? They're going to be opening up their emails. As you can see here, I have an email from Knox Plumbing. The customer is going to see the PDF attached just there, and they can select on the invoice. They're going to see a nice and neat pay now button. Once they're happy, um, they've read all the details, they can go ahead and pay now. They can put in their card details and submit. That is going to straight away show up in your Field Pulse account under the invoice payment just here. So it's going to show up just here as a payment marked as Field Pulse payments if you are using that pay now button. Now, if you are not and you're wanting your customers to manually transfer you, you would include that details in the footnote of your invoice. As you can see just here, we would have thank you for your business, uh, paying via bank transfer and you would have your bank details there. Now, if you don't have this set up already, I'm going to quickly show you where this information lies, where you can adjust it. So company settings, you're going to go quotes and invoices, and then you're going to go preview settings, scroll down the bottom, and you're going to see invoice footnote. So that is where you can add and you can edit your current one. Scroll up the top and select save. So jumping back to this invoice, I've sent it out to the customer and I sent it out to the customer's phone number as well. Now I have to wait for the customer to independently log in and place that payment. Now, if you are actually on site with a customer and you wanna collect their payment right there and then, you can do so as well. And most people do this from the mobile app but I'm gonna quickly show you, you can do it on the web app as well. So you might have your laptop with you on site, but rather where taking payment on the web app is common is if you have a customer call you up on the phone and they wanna give their bank details over the phone to an admin to process payment. So let's say I'm talking to uh, this customer and I'm going to select the payment button here where I can navigate to take payment. You can see we have the amount. You can always adjust that if it is a partial payment pop in the card number, cardholder's name, month, year, any notes, and you can charge the card right there from the web app. That is going to give you an instant feedback whether that payment went through or if it was declined, then you're able to speak to the customer and get an alternative payment method as well. That's gonna show up under payments, just like the other one did, Field Pulse Payments. So I've opened up this invoice on the mobile app. 
you can see we have invoice 6112. And let's say I have the customer right here with me and I'm gonna scroll down to view invoice. I can select on the present button in the middle there, hand my phone over to my customer. They can check this out, make sure they're happy with the service, read any details if they want to as well. And perhaps there was any add-ons they can select from those add-ons. You can collect a signature if you want to, but then when you, when you are ready to collect a payment, you're going to exit out and you're going to go back to the invoice and you wanna select on that green payment button. From here, you can go collect payment and you can see we have the cardholder's name, add that in, the card number, or perhaps you can see that little icon of a card. You can actually click on that and scan your customer's card. Now, I'm not gonna be showing you my details today. There's not much money on there anyway, but you would scan your customer's card. It's going to pick up those numbers automatically, saves you from typing them in, and you're going to collect your payment right there. And just like the web app, it's going to give you feedback to whether that payment went through, because if it doesn't, you want to make sure you collect a different type of payment from your customer. And it's going to be marked under that invoice. It's going to be paid. Do keep in mind, if it is a partial payment, you can go up the top here. You can see it's 516 at the moment and two cents. I can select that edit button and adjust that if it is a partial payment. We do have an integration with Square. So if you have Square payments, you can see on the mobile app, when you go to collect a payment, you're going to select that green payment button and you're going to see a new option, a fourth option that says collect via Square. You click on that, it's going to take you over to your Square app where you're able to complete that payment using your Square program and it's going to mark on uh, Field Pulse that that has been paid. If you are not using a digital payment solution, you can definitely reach out to our team, we can get you started. But if you just need to mark an invoice uh, rather than actually collecting payment, you can do so. So on the mobile app, you want to select mark payment just there. And as you can see, it's going to default the payment date, the invoice, and you can adjust the payment amount if you want. Then all you need to do is select the payment method. So from the list, you might have cash, check, credit card, um, or bank transfer as well. And you can add in any notes and save a payment. So let's say that this was a credit card payment and we want to save it. We can now see that has been saved there. Same goes for the web app. You're going to select on that payment button. You're then going to go mark payment, select the method, adjust the amount if you need to and add in any notes and save. You have collected your payment and perhaps your customer wants a receipt. You can go ahead and send that to them manually. You want to select on your invoice. You want to go actions and you can see you have generate invoice receipt PDF. Click on that, you're able to save, and then you'll have the option to send to your customer right here, send to your customer. Now, if you are on the mobile app, you can do the same. Sending the receipt from your phone, you wanna to navigate to the invoice, select on that actions button, and seventh from the top, you can see generate invoice receipt PDF. Click on that, you need to go ahead and select the actions button, attach it to the invoice, you're then able to select the actions button and send out to your customer. Now you can send your receipts automatically. You can set up an automatic trigger. So head over to your company settings. You then want to go over to customer communication. You want to set up a email or an SMS that says uh, payment receipt. So for an example, you can see, hi, customer's name, please see the attached payment receipt. Thank you for your business. Feel free to contact us there. So this is an email. You might want to create the same thing for a SMS. You then want to go over to the automatic trigger tab. You want to create a new trigger. You can see I have one here. You want to make sure the status is when the invoice status is paid, automatically send, or you can choose for a prompt or a schedule based on timing. You then choose your communication template. So we might want to select the one that I showed you before. Payment receipt email. And you can see here, include invoice receipt. You want to toggle that on. And once you save, whenever your invoice is updated to paid, it's automatically going to send a receipt out to your customer's email. You can do the same thing for your uh, SMS as well. Now, if you wanted to do any reporting, you can absolutely go to management reporting. And we do have a payment tab there where you're able to pull a whole bunch of reports. And that's it, folks. You've just learned how to master payment collection in field polls. It's that simple. If you're not currently using our online payment offering, be sure to reach out to our team to get started. Side note, we do offer competitive pricing and can usually match your current provider if we're not already beating their prices. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Make sure you add the bell as well so you can be notified for any further videos. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to connect with us. We've got TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and right here on YouTube. Leave any questions in the comments and we'll be sure to help you out. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, I'm Saxon and now you've got the facts.